James UK. Um, I'm going to do now a, a 3D follow-up video. As you guys probably have seen the video before, if you haven't, click the links below um, to my unboxing of my first ever 3D printer. I'm absolutely loving it. Now, what I want to do now, I've been spent about 10 days with it, doing everything regarding painting, filaments, doing everything I can possibly do. I'm going to give what I would say would be a help to some beginners because I went into this completely never ever ever touched a 3d printer in my life i have had an absolute blast and i want to just cover a few things regarding what 3d people talk about as regarding when you've printed stuff how you print stuff what filaments um and things more more important to me because that's what i was interested in is the afterthought of 3d printing of finishing your prints making them look good making them look shiny making them look clean and there is a lot of videos out there. Now, I have attempted to go through all these and I have tried most things on the Internet and on YouTube. And I want you to show. I'm going to show you my results, my thoughts and where I am right now. So first of all, I'm going to show you some simple prints that I've done. Um, what I will say straight away, let me just start by saying anybody into 3D printing beginning. I want to tell you right now, you will have failures. You will have prints that don't work. You will have your printer have a few errors. I have. Out of about, what, 15, 20 models that I've built, um, I've also had about six, seven, eight failures. I've also had printer blockages where it's not stuck to the bed early on and I've been out, come back, and there's just been filament collected around the, the um, printer head and it was failed. So you just stop your printer and pull it off. So I want to get that out there right now you will get failures, so just accept it. It's one of them things. However, when you do get success, there are some fantastic things to be had. Now, my favourite, I'm going to kick off with favourite, and it's this beauty. I think I might be better off turning off, actually, this backlight, because that's creating, yeah. Um, and lighting is not too good in this uh, flat, which is a shame, because this is black. Now, what it is, this is Darth Vader's melted mask from the movie, uh, the latest Star Wars movie, as you can see. Great print. Now, I also want to also tell you about length of time. 3D printing is a long process, and I mean a long process. This little baby, 10 hours plus to print this. Now, my plan, I want to try and bring it in to get a close-up. Here we are. This is perfect. You can see the fine lines, that, and you'll hear... The fine lines that printing creates. Now, the, the, the after process, which I'll come into, is what started all this off for me. This is where I want to get my models to look. And I want to finish this off. I don't just want to finish it like this. Um, and let me just go through a couple of other things that I want to show you. This little thing I printed yesterday. It's a little key ring. Working gears look. Um, in time, the gears do loosen. They are stiff at the beginning. But they do work. And that's the kind of little thing... That intrigues me. Um, on the other side of things, another gear. We have a working bearing that is just superb. As I say, these are successful prints. And I'm going to save the best till last that I've done over the weekend. Again, I'll explain in a while. Now, regarding... Let me come to finishing. And I'm going to put onto the desk some prints that I'm going to talk about. And we're going to talk about finishing... And the things that you should do in 3D printing. Now, the way that you look on the internet about finishing your prints, you've just seen me show you the Darth Vader. That is a raw print off the off the bed. It shows your lines. Now, your object is to get them shiny and painted. So the process you've got, you can either go with acetone, um, which is basically a nail varnish remover, but in a hundred percent form. You can either go with um, an epoxy, um, which I have got, which I'll probably show you because it's it's down here somewhere. I'm just looking under my desk. I will bring that out because that is quite relevant to what I'm talking about. Um, I'll put this on the desk right now so you can see because I will talk about that as well. So the first thing I tried, I saw many videos on, on YouTube that basically talk about acetone. Um, and an acetone, firstly, a cold, a cold press. Now what that involved was put acetone on paper towels in a tin can and let it sit in a sealed tin for about half an hour. 
when I first saw that video, I instantly ordered some acetone without doing research. What I found very quickly is that the two types of filament that printers take are PLA and ABS. Now ABS is the only one that works with a cold acetone procedure, the paper towel procedure. I didn't realize that it's something to do with chemistry and it doesn't work with PLA. So I was left with then trying to quickly decide what I was gonna to do to get better prints. And the next stage was acetone bath, which is basically pour the acetone in a tub, get your models and dip them into that bath. And judging again by YouTube, it, any time from between 30 seconds to 45 seconds. What that basically does is create a melted coat on top of your print to get rid of the little lines and bumps and create a shiny model for print for painting. Now I tried that. I tried it with this Stormtrooper and I tried it with this and I tried it with this stand. This is a Dremel stand that I put my Dremel tool on. Now what I did do, I didn't have very success with that procedure. I will tell you that I dipped them into the acetone for 30 seconds each let them out to dry now the only thing i did notice was it actually caused problems it actually softened the plastic and if you can see slightly I don't know if you can there's a slight warping on this now on the base and the acetone caused that so i very quickly learned that that was not the way to go it didn't work very well it's not very good on your hands it's awful in fact you should use rubber gloves um, so then we come to this and I saw a YouTube video showing this. This is Z Epoxy um, PT39. Now it's basically an epoxy resin that you're supposed to glue things with, I think is, is the truth. Um, but I saw a video of a guy in Australia, he's on YouTube and he has replied to me to help me as well, showing his version of the Darth Vader. Now this has got a 30 minute off time and this is what I first had a problem with. However, I want to show you this. Now, if I bring this in, um, you will see that this is very, very shiny. This is ready for painting. I'm just waiting for some actual um, undercoat, some pre-coat to start painting, which I'll come to in a second. But as you can see, this is very shiny and has actually gone how I want it. That was with this. You mix two poxes into a dish, mix it for about a minute, two minutes. You apply it with a brush. What I will say, be careful it goes off very very quickly you have to be quick the second massive tip brushes i bought cheap crappy brushes and they were losing the hairs in the poxy and it was a mess and that was when i did this one this was the first one i coated in it and there's hairs in it it was a very poor one what i also want to stress is you have to be careful because it can pull you have to try and do it thin but in places like wells and things like this, if you do it too thick, it will pull. So there's a very fine line of learning. So this is why I would say make a few test prints, have a go with it. I will recommend this. This is now what I'm going to stay with. It's about £9 on eBay, readily available. I've ordered it, used it. It's quite a bit in. You don't need much. Now, this is where I'm going to tell you what happened then. After failing with this... I then learnt a few things, like I said, it goes off quickly, so I mixed a small amount, and I did this. This has come out exactly how I want. This has then worked. I did the little boat. I'll talk about painting in a second. I did the little boat with it. That worked out shiny and well. And I also did my Thor hammer, which is a project I'm going to paint. Again, you must learn to apply it thinly. Again, this was let down by poor quality of brush does look a bit messy but it will look good when it's painted because obviously it's a hammer it's got to take a bit of it's, it's going to work out quite how like I want but it, it's okay but again it brings me to this this is the best stuff this is the stuff I'm going to go with I'm happy at the thing and I'm going to finally do this in it however I'm waiting on some better quality brushes so we come to painting I've learned again in the last few days um, these were some experiments I tried. This was um, acrylic paint, model paints, directly onto the shiny side that I'd done with the epoxy. No undercoat. That is just basic. That's about two layers of paint. Okay, I'm trying to paint yellow on black. 
not a good idea but it goes on so then i tried again and i tried with my little boat and what i did i applied actually more paint this time and they say these are just experiments to get me into it to get me you know up on it now now what i will say i didn't think this has come out bad and and i, I just laid the paint on a little bit thicker but going back to what i'm learning all the time i'm learning that obviously you need an undercoat I've never mo painted models, I've never done anything like that, but clearly you need an undercoat, which then lays a layer down, apparently, for the acrylic paint to stick to way better. So I should be doing that next week, hopefully finishing this off. I'm going to get some undercoat, I'm going to paint it, and I'm going to do a proper job on that. So what I'm going to come to now, that's really all the tips I'm going to give you guys. That, for me, has been the best way to finish your models easily. Don't bother with that acetone. I've got two bottles under here that are a waste of time it's messy it's dirty it's not good on the hands as for painting again acrylic paints are fine but it looks like we need an undercoat i have also heard that even though i've applied the epoxy to this and it's shiny a fine sanding will also help when painting so even though i've got that shiny look a fine sanding with a fine sandpaper will also work talking of sanding they do recommend you do that both prior to applying resin and also painting. So that's just done with a fine sandpaper. Another beginner's word of warning, do not use your Dremel to sand. I use my Dremel to get some rough edges off things. There's some rough edges sometimes in little holes or crevices and that sometimes gets rid of them. What it is, the Dremel tool is just too powerful, it's too heavy and you can actually take chunks out your model. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to some of the success prints. I did say at the top of this video, be prepared for failures. It will fail. Also be prepared for waiting. It's a long process and I'll come to this now. I've printed my daughter this. Um, she's a bit of a mathematician. This is called the Tower of Pi. And as you can clearly see, or hopefully you can see, it's a little dish to put a makeup brushes in, but it's got pi numbers all round and that was a brilliant print that was inside it's got the symbol very nice little model that's one of my favorites i'll come to the best one in a minute that i've done over the weekend this was one of my first early tests this is an iphone um stand with booster speaker that works quite well i was going to paint that not sure i'm going to it was just one of my very early models to run through time i mentioned over 10 hours seven hours um, that was a five and a half hour. That was literally 25 minutes. This actually is recommended by um, all the top 3D printers out there to print. It's well, it's on the internet, so it's a little boat. It's a special one because apparently it's supposed to test your printer. And the reason it tests it, it's got some very stressful things for it to print. It's got holes, it's got uh, squares, it's got curved edges, it's got complete holes right through. It's got, as I say, squares, it's got ovals, circles. So it's really a stress test for your printer. And even in fact, how good this print came out on my printer. There's even the wheel inside there, which I didn't even notice till my daughter pointed that out. But that's a lovely little model that you should actually print if you're just new to your printer stuff. Um, my little Da Vinci uh, Junior, £230, they're currently running out on eBuy amazing quality uh, and you'll see in a minute I'm going to talk about resins uh, not resins pla and your filaments my printer sadly only prints pla which is recommended for beginners it's the it's the better one abs filament requires a heated bed um, which is more the expensive printers um, however i'm going to show you now you've seen the black you've seen the clear clear that came with the printer when i bought it just as a test one that came with it free this is the one i've bought i'm going to say right now i won't be buying any more black filament it just hasn't been a successful product to work with it printed this fine and i was really happy with it considering it was 10 hours but since then it's had a few failures the thor hammer was actually off center there and when i actually come this was printed in two parts there was a gap here because the edge of this side had, had lifted off the bed i had blockages with black just something i didn't like from day one i then bought some orange that was the one that failed with the blocked um 
the blocked extruder at the the printer head it blocked twice now whether that was i was trying to i was actually trying to print something a little bit fine which could be the answer however it has done successful prints there's a couple i've had a couple of things that have not been quite measured right i did a door hook um, sadly I, I measured it wrong and it doesn't fit over the door so it's just been chucked into the spares box on the floor but the big success and here we are this model i've printed over the weekend yesterday and in total it's taken i think 18 hours and you're probably sat there thinking wow but when you see this this was printed in one two three four parts and i can't tell you one quality of filament two quality of model is just well this is why i'm enjoying it and hopefully you will see why and hopefully the camera picks it up because that is my favorite thing i've printed so far i'm going to paint it says tyrannosaurus rex in there the stand um, i'm going to paint the stand i think silver but i'm going to leave this exactly as it is because the white filament obviously it's a tyrannosaurus rex skeleton's head it printed the top part in 13 hours so it's, a, it's longer than i actually said printed this part in four hours printed the base in three and printed the little rod at the back to stand it on i think that was about 20 minutes but all in all this actually feels and looks like bone which obviously for the effect i'm looking for has just hit the nail smack on the head so this is my favorite print so far absolutely loving it what i am actually deciding the white filament I think I'm actually going to buy that from now on because regards painting my models it's obviously going to be a great backdrop to paint it's clear it's white it's easy to take paint but it comes out like this and it's just it's just brilliant so really guys all in all I hope you've enjoyed the video if you want to ask questions below and you're a beginner please put questions or email me at crankytoss at gmail.com I'll be glad to answer if you've got any tips for me I am a beginner I'm obviously just getting into it, especially tips for finishing and painting. Um, I am sticking with this epoxy resin. I do know there's one out there called 3D resin that's actually made for the exact same thing that I'm doing. Whether it's any different or that, I don't know. I'm quite happy with this, what it's achieved. I won't see until it's finished painted, if it's done the job properly. What I will say about the 3D epoxy that's out and about on the internet very difficult to get hold of in the UK very expensive I think the minimum price for that 3d epoxy was about 14 pound for less size than this and like I say this is about eight nine pound on it on eBay worked fine and it's going to last a while there's two bottles and I've, I've done two or three things in it um, so all in all guys if you want to contact me cranky at gmail.com like I've said I'm absolutely loving my 3d printing it's great as i say head over to ebuyer they're currently doing the um da vinci juniors at 200 and i think last week they were down to 210 pound on offer just fantastic I, I just can't tell you it's i mean my main hobby on this channel cranky gamers uk is video games and i still love that i still do a weekly podcast that goes out every week if you want to go and follow us and listen to that please do so we, we hit our 350th episode last week but this is just a side hobby that i've had great interest in I now I can do it because I've found a cheap printer. It's just one of the best things I've done. It, it's just enjoyable and I'm learning all the time. Um, so like I say, guys, if you want to message me or please follow and subscribe below for any video game stuff or gadget stuff. I do reviews on headphones and I do all the stuff like this. I like to make the channel like a, just a gadget channel. So feel free to join us. Click like, click subscribe. Thank you again. www.crankygamersuk.net is my main site where the gaming stuff is. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope I've helped you. And if you want any answers, feel free to contact me. So until then, bye for now. Bye.